Does your skin look and feel like this, where it is constantly flaking, constantly dry, no matter what you do? Do you look down at your dark sweater and see dandruff from your face? This is what happened to one of my clients who did an online consultation with me. Meet Angie. Angie is actually one of my online consultations. She is in her 30s and when she came to me, she had some occasional psoriasis and eczema flare-ups. She was experiencing extreme tightness and dryness and at the same time having some blackheads on her nose. And on top of all of that, she had melasma. Part of the online consultation includes asking the um, client their skin's history to see how much trauma or inflammation the skin has gone through before I start treating their skin. So for her skin's history, she did a series of laser peels from March of 2020 to July of 2020. And then um, from June and July of 2020, she also did a series of acid peels. And if that wasn't enough, she also was using Accutane seven years ago for three months. These are the skincare products that she was using before we did our skincare consultation. So the first one was the cleanser. ZO Health Skin Cleanser, Dermalogica Multivitamin Thermofoliant, Peter Thomas Raw, Firm X Peeling Gel, ZO Health Complexion Renewal Pads, ZO Health 10% Vitamin C Serum, Bright Alive Skin Brightener, Glytone Enhanced Brightening Complex, Nectar CBD, Polyphenols and Propolis, Color Science Sunscreen, ZO Skin Health Wrinkle Texture Repair Cream, and Chirology's 4% Niacinamide, 0.05% Tretinone, and Acid. So her struggle and her frustration was she felt like even though she was using all of these products that her hyperpigmentation and melasma was getting darker and at the same time her skin was getting drier. And with all of that she was still getting blackheads and some breakouts. And with all the exfoliants that she was using, she was experiencing dryness and itchiness, sometimes some flakiness on top of all of that. She was at her wit's end. Her natural moisturizing factor was definitely compromised. So what do you think we did first? So write in the comments what you think we addressed first. So the first thing we did is we did not address her melasma first. We had to help restore her NMF, her natural moisturizing factor. And part of that is readjusting her pH of her skin. Sometimes clients that are using Retin-A, Retinols, uh, Tretinoin, any, any of these types of retinoids what can happen is it stays in the skin for several months, which is why you know, they tell you to not wax if you're using any of these products because it thins out the skin. So when you wax, it actually peels off the skin and that's called skin lifting. So with the skin, what can happen is there's actually an increase of redness, irritation, rashes, dryness, flakiness, itchiness that can come several weeks to several months after the client has been using any types of these products. Well, everything turned out peachy keen and we had no problems and that was the end of that. Nope. Oh no. So here's the photos that she texted me. So about midway be before we were supposed to do a video consultation, 
she texted me these photos so her skin got even more irritated and this is the text that she had she explained to me that i couldn't really tell in the photos but her eyes were swollen her skin became even more dry and irritated uh, it got worse so as I mentioned before, her skin actually started to shed even more. So when you change the pH of the skin and they haven't been off of the retin-A, retinoids, any of those things for a long enough time, it can actually increase the shedding of the skin. So this is what happened. So we changed out her cleansers and we had her use Restore as well as a balancing cleanser. We had to balance out her skin and so since her skin was going back and forth, you know, going back and forth between feeling itchy and dry and irritated, we had to balance out that first. We had to have her stop using all those layers of exfoliants. Now we still needed for her to continue to exfoliate, but we wanted to slow the exfoliation process. So what we did is instead of having her use all these leave-on peeling gels, we had her use a rinse-off exfoliating product, and then we actually mixed it in with one of her cleansers to dilute the exfoliating properties of that exfoliating product on its own. She didn't have enough moisture in her skin. She was experiencing trans epidermal water loss. So when your skin is exfoliating too quickly, it cannot hold on to the water long enough. So we used a hydrating treatment gel. We also used a hydrating treatment mist that creates a film over her skin. And then after that, we also had her use a non-hydroquinone based lightening cream. Now this process is going to take some time obviously to get her pH readjusted so we had her do all of these different things but in addition to that I also had her doing a one to two times a week very deep hydrating gel based mask treatment that you could also use overnight for that additional moisture and it wasn't really necessarily the oils it was more of the water since she lives in Colorado so it's very very extremely low amount of moisture in the air so that's why you see that I'm adding more water into her skincare protocol versus more essential fatty acids after a few weeks her texture really improved her moisture levels really increased and we saw some very good improvements with her skin <music> So we will be letting you know after she does it for several more months and increasing more lightening agents into her skincare protocol, what it's going to be. So she was so pleased with her results that she actually referred one of her family members to me. And not only that, she was so happy she was nice enough to do this testimonial, which you can watch right here. So if you are one of these people who it sounds like you are just like Angie, where you are buying all of these different products and you're using all of these, not knowing if this is actually working together to work for your skin and you're tired of wasting time and money, then please consider going onto this link and finding more about our online skin consultation. Because remember, makeup is an art and skincare is a science.